Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand. And this is chapter one, starting over with a new chapter of Umps and Outs, Lessons Learned. Um, and what I wanted to talk to you about today was umpires in baseball and how their impact on the game can either influence or impact or really um, cause chaos to the game of baseball, depending on the umpire and their strategies and their um, morality, I guess you could say, you know, if they're real cocky and, and um, kind of like a law enforcement agency, you have your young cocky guys that think they know everything there is to know about everything. And then you have the older guys who are kind of, you know, see the big picture, see how everything works, um, and they are incorporating everything into their decisions um, of outs and of being out or safe or balls or strikes or whatever you want to, you know, show that they're impacting in the game. Um, and I really like how this is kind of playing out, this game of baseball and all the different aspects of it, you know, the pitchers and catchers and the, and the, um, just the game of, of, uh, baseball as a whole. Um, love it. Love it. I think there's so many life lessons we can learn from the game of baseball and, um, so exciting to watch and so much fun, so much drama, so much suspense, and so much just joy. Uh, there's a lot of joy in the game of baseball for me, um, at least in, in my hometown, hometown with uh, with our, our hometown team. Um, they they just work together. They there's there's just a connection. There's there's a lot of authentic authentic. Uh, love and, and camar camaraderie um, and what I want to talk about today in my life lesson or for my own individual life is um, so kind of seeing the whole picture of not just um, my point of view, my perspective, but seeing that whole uh, perspective of you know, like like an umpire, you have to take the the runner's perspective along with the the defensive player's def uh, perspective, and who is correct, who is they're almost like a judge, and um, so I'm kind of facing some situations too where I have a, a judgment coming. You know, I have to go before a judge and. Um, I want to see that other person's point of view. I want to respect her point of view. Um, but I also have my own point of view and I have to stand up for my point of view. So, and then the umpire is going to make the final call. Um, so I wrote down a couple things, um, you know, like, lies that we tell each other or tell others um, can be so destructive. Gossip can be so destructive, especially if you're in the middle of a, a you know, a court case or a, in my case, I'm going to like a small claims thing and um, that gossip about me just to other people is so destructive, so, so destructive. I I really don't talk to anybody about this case other than my partner. Um, and um, there's a lot of lies involved and a lot of uh, misconceptions. Maybe that person really believes, wants to believe those lies, wants to believe that misconception. But it's very hurtful that she's like spreading it to pretty much everybody she knows about me being this 
conniving schemer, which just isn't true. And so I see this as, you know, I'm on first base stealing second, um, just, you know, going from one base to the next. And um, we'll see who, uh, we'll see who, who's safe or out and the umpire is going to make that call. So um, I do want to see her point of view. Um, I understand that there's a lot of factors that uh, go into this. Um, and I and I have compassion for her. Um, but the facts are the facts. And the umpire is going to look at the facts of the situation and call the call based on fact, not on, not on, you know, construed stories. Um, it's going to be about facts. So, all right. Um, this is Gordon Smith's Healing Spirit Oracle Cards, and they look like this, and I always put the rosary with the cards because they look alike. You know, the colors are so similar to me. Um, I always put the rosary with the cards. And this rosary is, the rosary is very special to me because um, it, uh, it was given to me by a very, very, very special person and um, broken to pieces in the dryer, in the washing machine, in the dryer, um, and somehow came back together again. And I can't explain how, um, but it did. And the intention that I'm setting for the cards today is um, focusing on the perspectives. You know, when you're playing the game of baseball, there's two people that are doing their very best and they're trying really hard to get the right call and or have the call go their way um some people cheat some people don't so um yeah so this says share the gift and it looks like that and it says share the gift you are healing, you're, you have healing ability within you, and you know this because you can feel the pain of others. Spirit healers and helpers are always working with you when you use your special abilities for yourself and others. There will, out, there, there will be times when you will feel their power, and other times when you will feel the power is coming from you. In true, it truly doesn't seem to matter who builds the power of healing. It is more important that it is shared. Call upon the healing spirits to work with you now and allow your ability to become a great gift to be channeled and used to heal. These, those who claim the power of healing spirits are true light workers. So I am saying that I am channeling the power of healing spirits, and that is light work. And maybe that's why this came together for me. This is me. This, this is me, and I am this rosary, and this rosary is me. And um, we came together again, like a puzzle. Um, I don't understand how this happened, how, you know, like, how, how, how that happened, but I am coming back together again, piece by piece, like a puzzle, and nobody can stop it, so. All right, I hope everybody has a great day today.